Hi everybody. Um, so I was being asked what books I was reading and I'm a big person that is into fantasy. I haven't read Harry Potter, which I know everybody thinks is crazy, but I have this thing where if I've seen the movie, I don't want to read the book. Um, I tried that with True Blood and I really liked True Blood. I thought it was that whole guilty pleasure bit and I went and bought the book and I did read it and I did like it. And the books always are better, you know, they have more stuff going on and things like that, but I, uh, I have to say that I don't like reading them because I know what's going to happen. So I'm, I haven't read The Lord of the Rings. I don't know if I would read that. I like, um, I haven't read Harry Potter, none, none of that stuff. Um, what I have been into, I did love the Twilight books. I read all of those. I hated the movies, sorry for all those Twi Heart fans, <laughs> but um, yeah, I definitely, definitely loved the books. The fourth one was my favorite. I wish that it wasn't a teen book. I wish it could have had some, you know, more PG-13R stuff in them. I do love the, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll thing, or I love the fantasy stuff. So the big book... Oh, I've got the I've got the laptop on it. The big book that I um, love is The Iron King by Julia Kagawa. Kagawa, Kagawa. Julie K A G A W A. Uh, she's actually I think from Hawaii, so it makes sense why her last name I can't pronounce it. But anyway, it's awesome. It's about fays and different um, queens, princesses, kings. But it's not, you know, your typical little kid book. Um, it, it is interesting. And I'm actually on the second book now, The Iron Daughter. And I really, really love it. Another book that I actually loved and I may love more than the second book of The Iron... The Iron King I couldn't put down. That book I just showed you, I, I couldn't put down. I read it in two days and... I'm not normally one to read books that fast, and I couldn't put it down, so I really loved it. Um, the second book I've had in my possession now for a couple months, and I think that either, because there is a third one, and I think she's doing a fourth one, so I think at first I didn't want it to end, so I didn't pick up the book. It's been so long, because, you know, when they first come out with their first book, they wait like a year for their second one, and then... Even though you know you really loved the first one, you know, you're kind of, like, not into it. So I almost wanted to reread the first one, but as I said, I don't like reading books where I know that what's going to happen. Hence why I haven't read Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, any of that. Um, the Alchemist series. I've also really loved that. Um, but this one is the one I wanted to show you. Firelight by Sophie Jordan. And this is a wicked good book. Um, another one I couldn't put down. It's about a girl. Um, and there's actually, she's actually a dragon, as weird as that sounds. But she lives in our world. But there's, nobody knows that there's dragons out there. And there's dragon hunters. And she's she lives in like this amazing kind of world. It's like the Amazon rainforest. A lot of it hasn't been discovered so they're able to hide there and there are people that hunt them and you know that's their lifestyle they're secret hunters because like I said the dragons are secret but these dragons can turn normal you know like she just like me and she can actually turn herself into it and it shows kind of her struggles she has to leave her kind of pride is what you would call it uh, just like a lion pride she has to leave her the whole community there in the, the forest, her whole village, and kind of come into the real world. And um, she ends up falling for a guy who turns out to be a hunter. So it's kind of cute. I, I laugh when I say this. I know a lot of you will be big into this stuff. And my uh, fiancé makes fun of me for really loving the fantasy stuff. And he likes more of like, you know he liked Into the Wild, things like that where it's more real life stuff. But, you know, I'm like, well, I could see that on TV. I want to hear about dragons and fairies and vampires that, you know, sleep with you and suck your blood after and 
all that good stuff. So anyway, um, those are a good example of, those are the books I'm reading now. I, I finished, um, obviously, The Iron King. I'm now in the second one, The Iron Daughter. And I love it. And then I'm actually, once I get off with you, I'm going to go see if Sophie has made her final second one. This is what's upset me. It's because it's been over a year since I've read this as well. Maybe just about a year. So it sucks because I was really, really into it. And I, I can't tell you how bummed out I am when I love a book and I finish it and then find out that, you know, the date for the next one. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> I know they have to write the damn thing. But I feel like if they are planning to do a series, they should publish the first one when she's like halfway done with the second one or something like that so it's not as much time because now I mean I know everything that happened in this I'm not going to forget so the Iron King I did a little bit but I'm getting back into the book and then it, so I'm on the Iron Daughter and this is by Julie Kagawa <laughs> sorry and um, also another good book was The Magicians but the Alchemist series um, was really good to hold on. Let me find. The Alchemist series is Nicholas Flamel, and um, that's who the main character is. It's the Alchemist series of Nic Nicholas Flamel. That one's a really good one, too. Um, actually, what I really want to read now is the Game of Thrones series. So if I get the books now, even though the first series just ended on HBO, I think I might be able to, uh, you know, kind of bite my lip. I bet, because, you know, with the books, they cover so much, and, and it's almost like the movies just cover a tiny, tiny bit. So... Maybe if I get the books to the Iron Throne, it won't be like, you know, like it was when I got the Sookie Stackhouse series from True Blood. But yeah, so I really suggest those books to you. Um, they don't, like for a lot of guys, I don't know if the guys would like them. Just because it is, they, they both kind of are like love stories a little bit. But there is like, there's a lot of adventure, but there's not a lot of action. It's more of like... You know, it is explaining these amazing worlds. It reminds me of Avatar a little bit, um, which was amazing. And I think it's pretty much my favorite movie. But all right, well, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you look into the book. I hope you like them. I'll be enjoying the rest of my book. I'll, I'll probably finish it tonight, halfway through. So bye, guys.